Now, before I delve deeper into the curriculum, let me first address how are you taught at SST, and then I'll go into curriculum and structure and everything. Firstly, the people who teach you are not professors, but rather practitioners, which means people who already work as senior engineers in good companies, they are the ones who are your teachers, because then they are able to teach from experience. We've also made sure that the curriculum is very, very oriented towards what the industry wants, what makes you employable, what makes you a great engineer. And the reason for that is, like even if you look in tech, if you argue for what is, where the best kind of work is happening, where most cutting edge kind of work is happening, today that is not happening in the research labs of universities, but rather happening in the research labs of most big companies. So hence, we have kept the curriculum very oriented towards what the industry wants. Apart from the instructor though, you also have batch success managers. These are the persona of a junior developer. They live with students in the campus and they help them out in case they get stuck anywhere. They also help explain topics, et cetera, et cetera, which they might not have understood in the class. Apart from that, they also have one-on-one -on -one mentors who are also engineers, but in a way they guide you one-on-one, -on -one. they act as your elder sibling to keep you on track. Now that you understand how the content is delivered, let me now come to the curriculum part and the structure part. So the program is structured in a way where it is two plus one plus one, which means there are three parts to the program. The first part is two years where you learn the fundamentals of computer science. I will delve deeper into what happens there. Then there is one year of internship where you apply whatever you have learned in a particular company. And in a way, when you start doing that, there are things that you learn, the things that you get exposed to, which will start making sense later on for the third part. So in the third part, we teach you things, or we let you specialize in things that makes you equivalent to what a senior engineer would do. You can also choose AI machine learning as your specialization, or you could choose, let's say, algo trading as your area of specialization. So you have specializations that you can do in your final year. Now, one key difference in how all of this is delivered also is the fact that the learning is very implementation heavy. We believe that in computer science, if you only learn and not apply, then you quickly forget the concepts. So hence, in every course you have classes, but on the same day or on the next day, you also have labs where you apply whatever you have learned. Now let me go deeper into the topics for every section. In the first two years, a focus is a lot on the CS fundamentals, which means you learn problem solving, data structures algorithm, you build projects, and these are like deep projects. You get you build one front-end project, like for example, building um, an Excel sheet. And if you go and ask any front-end developer, building an Excel sheet, Google Sheets, that is a decently complex front-end problem. On the back-end side, you build an e-commerce website. Again, not a trivial problem, decently complex projects. Um, not just that, I mean, even when it comes to, let's say, um, computer science fundamentals, in a way, you get to a state where you can optimize a machine where it starts taking more than 100,000 requests per second. So whatever it takes to optimize, that involves knowledge of operating system, computer networks, how sockets work, you're able to then do that, and you learn the fundamentals that are required for that. So that happens in your first two years. That makes you a great eligible candidate for internship. Then you have internship. During the internship, you have access to a one-on-one -on -one mentor. In a way, the responsibility of a mentor is to make sure that you do very well in the internship, which means the mentor is not going to write code for you, but they are going to push you to do the right things in the internship. For example, how do you measure the impact of the work that you're doing? How do you make it more impactful? When you write code, how do you go and check what is happening because of the code? How do you follow the right practices so that you don't make bugs? How do you, if you're doing well on the job now, then how do you expand your impact further by going and asking for more work? All of that, the mentor guides you through. And then once you're done the, with the internship, then you have the specialization. One added thing in the specialization is that if you get selected into the, into the innovation lab that exists on the campus, then via the innovation lab, we invite a bunch of co-founders, non-tech co-founders, to submit their idea proposals to Scalar School of Technology. For the ideas that get selected, the founders come on the campus and start building their companies inside the campus as part of the innovation lab. So you get to be a part of those companies. You get to build those companies ground up and you see the journey of building a company from zero to one, if you get selected. All in all, by the time you graduate, 
you already have very impressive projects on your resume. You already know everything there is to know in the field of computer science. You already have one year of experience on your resume and then you're applying to companies. That is the best kind of resume you could have. And that is the curriculum structure at Scalar School of Technology.